The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant, Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance just as your leaders did, but God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me. O oh, my just God, you who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer response lord let your face shine on us know that the lord does wonders for his faithful one the lord will hear me when i call upon him response lord let your face shine on us O lord let the light of your countenance shine upon us you put gladness into my heart response lord let your face shine on us as soon as i lie down i fall peacefully asleep for you alone O lord bring security to my dwelling response lord let your face shine on us the second reading a reading from the first letter of saint john my children, I am writing this to you, so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know Him is to keep His commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments, are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Word of the Lord The Gospel reading, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, the two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins 
will be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Prayer of the Faithful Lord, listen to your people. May your church be a beacon of light, helping people in darkness to come to know Jesus as the way, the truth, and the life. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. May all leaders be governing with fidelity, those entrusted to their care, build nations in peace, brotherhood, and respect for human dignity. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. May all consecrated men and women proclaim your resurrection through their lives, their prayer, and their service to others. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Bless our labor that it may sustain our life on earth and enhance our human dignity. Ease our burden, make our faith strong, and inspire us to put our trust in you. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Welcome into eternal life our deceased brothers and sisters, so that they may truly see the light of your countenance. We pray, Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, listen to your people.